Dostmaster, Mr. Dostmaster, our life is transforming with rapid pace. We are living in a society where the news are bombarding us from different media sources. We are using the gadgets and smartphones that completely change our life than it used to be. And we are trying to keep up with the pace of our life. Otherwise, we will be left behind. Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to teach you with the three simple rules. And by the end of my lecture, you are going to understand them and you will learn what the law of serendipity means. So let's go. The first role, before going to that, I would like to tell you the story from Alice in Wonderland. When Alice came to the fork of the, of the road, she saw the Cheshire cat in a tree. And she asked, where, where do I need to go? The cat responded, well, where do you want to go? She said, I don't know. Then the cat said, well, it doesn't matter then. It doesn't matter which road you are going to take. Because if you don't have any kind of priorities in your life, you, you will reach any kind of destination and you will not be driving force of your life. You will be sitting in the back seat of the big Ferrari running 300 miles per hour without controlling your life. That basically reflects my life before 20s. When I, I, I was born as the latest kid in my family, and my siblings and parents took care after me, supported me, protected from destructive forces of environment, and I was basically living my life inside of my family, and my main priority was not to let them down and to please my parents. So when my father told me that I need to go to medical university, I said, okay, I entered medical university, graduated it with honors, despite the fact I didn't like this major at all. I also had a bad luck on my relationship by that time. I remember once I had asked one lady to go out with me. We had a great time together, and in the midst of that, my parents called me, Hello, Ahmad, where are you? <laughs> Will you be at home on time? And it was my mom. <laughs> then it was my dad. <laughs> and that's completely ruined my experience and uh, ruined uh, our, my impression on that girl. So I had this very bad type of relationships in my mid-twenties, until my sister took me to the workshop about leadership, where they taught me that, first of all, in order to become a well-adapted person in our society, you have to learn to prior prioritize yourself, to set the goals for five to ten years, and then you can be responsible for your actions. You know where to get to. I said, okay, great, I can do that. It's easy. It took me a few weeks to do that. But then I understood that, oh, oh, just setting priorities without action, it's like a daydreaming. You're dreaming and that's it. You have to take action. This is the second simple rule. You have to go outside your comfort zone, which is you are living at. Yes, it's a very great place to stay in, to be a couch potato. <laughs> doing nothing. However, all the magic stuff happens outside this comfort zone. And if you want to grow up yourself, you need to find all your priorities, take them, funnel them through this bubble, and get all the treasures and gems outside this comfort zone. And by doing that, you actually become more luckier. Like in my case, 
I graduated medical school. I was before knowing that there should be priorities. I should go outside this this kind of bubble. I was like a boat without sails and rows, rocked by the waves of ocean called the life, helpless, without understanding which where my destiny will be. And then, after understanding that I should set my priorities, I started. I quit my major. I applied to Bolashak scholarship. I was lucky to get that scholarship. I was lucky to get acceptance to one of the top universities in the US, studied there. Then I decided to come back home and actually move away from my parents to find my destiny. Move away a thousand miles from Almaty to here. And actually, along the way, I started to learn a lot about myself, about my flaws, about my relationship with others. And I get more lucky because if you look through my career, I started in National Medical Holding, which is top largest medical institution in Kazakhstan. Start from junior manager position, and I grew up to become a director of one of the largest departments because I was setting, constantly setting my goals and acting upon them. And then I was lucky to find my second half my relationship become better, and I got married. Married. <laughs> yes, I have kids and a kid. <laughs> Typo. And then I understood that setting up priorities and getting outside this bubble, comfort zone, it's actually not enough for me because my time been shrinking very much because everything asked for my attention. And there I learned another simple rule, that we can learn from terminal ill people. If you ask terminal ill people who, who's left 15 to 30 days, they usually respond that their biggest regret is that they didn't spend much time on what they desire, what they've been focusing on the entire life. They squandered their life on addictions, drinking alcohol, gambling, or pro probably watching TV, World Cup games. Those times saps away, those activities saps away from you all resources, all your nerves, all your time that you are left. And you need to can focus, start focusing on your priorities. Because you need to understand that your life is short to spend and waste away on, on unnecessary things, unnecessary relationships. But it's large enough to become a better person who will leave the mark in our society. Like those famous people, like Albert Einstein, Nelson Mandela. You can become that kind of person if you follow these three simple rules. Prioritize your actions. Act upon them. Do not daydream. And third, focus on the main action. Do not squander your energy on unnecessary stuff. And by doing that, you become lucky. Because all of those people who tried, they actually received the favor of Lady Serendipity. And can we continue to the last step? And that's law of serendipity tell us. Lady Luck favors those who try. So I want you to try your best. To become the better person you are. And leave your mark in this life. 
Over to you. Mr. Smith. 